So since I've launched my free AI writer, which you can get at helpfulcontent.ai right here, I've had an overwhelming amount of positive uh, reviews and positive feedback, but people are still asking pretty much the same questions. So today I'm going to touch upon the most popular questions and go through the helpful content writer once again to show you how you can write well-researched, well-written articles for three, five, ten cents a piece. Okay, let's get started. So the question number one is about the open router key. I'm very surprised at that because it's extremely easy. You go to open router credits, then you top up your credits. The minimum is five. I already showed you this information, but still look at the costs, associated costs. It's very inexpensive, even for pretty expensive models like Opus, for example. Let me find Opus somewhere here. So 10 cents, for example, and we have uh, sub 10 cents, two cents for Opus as well. So very, very inexpensive. Then you go to your keys, create a key, and this is what you will be using to run the helpful content writer, my writing tool. Now, the A writer is built in a way that each section can be run by its own model. So by default, whenever I choose a model, let's choose Opus, for example, this model is going to be populated everywhere besides the content gap improver that works off of perplexity. But you could have generated custom data with Gemini Pro. You could have generated your outline with GPT 3.5. Finally, you can use uh, Cloud 3 Opus to write your article. Now, there's been a lot of uh, confusion with the, the recent Cloud 3.5 update. Even on the Open Router's Twitter, they say that it's currently producing extremely short content and there is very little you can do. So if you want to retain the original formatting in built in this AI writer and you want to have the best length possible for your writer, I would suggest go for Cloud Opus and Cloud 2.1. In some cases, you can still use Cloud 3.5, but this model here 2024-0620, which is a legacy model, which is a previous iteration of 3.5. And sometimes you have to run it twice to get the best results. Now, this is my current workflow. I pick a keyword. I go incognito. I look besides the sponsored videos, what's currently ranking. And I can see that these three resources, which is the Agility's own article, in two of my videos are ranking. And since I know the niche so well, I know that this video here is the better resource out of the three. So let me copy the transcript. I'm copying it here. Then let's do the same for the second video, which is again a video of mine. And again, I don't really need the third article. Let's just, yeah, do without it because it is outdated. So now these are the priorities. This tells the AI writer just how much information should be extracted from each file. So let's use 10 for source 1 and let's use 5 for source 2. Then this is a custom data I usually generate it. This tells the helpful AI writer to fetch or extract data and statistics from whatever is in the three sources and combine it in a single helpful table. Okay. Now the content gap improver. Uh, this is again one of the innovations. This looks at the sources and tries to audit them, look at them critically and tell me what is missing from those sources. This is the only time where you have perplexity models only and I'm usually going for 8B online or 70B online. Fast response. Okay. You would have to read through this because sometimes it does a preliminary summary before introducing uh, the actual recommendations. So Let's uh, wait for something like additional information that can be added, includes, and delete everything else. And you don't need this, which is a closing remark. Okay, and now you're finally ready to generate the outline again. Uh, if you are credit conscious, for example, you can use something like Gemini Pro 1.5, which is extremely inexpensive. And this is the power of this writer here. You can save your favorite model to last for actual article writing. So let me fill in the rest of the information. So there are tons of tools that you can get LSI keywords from. I'm using Neuron Writer, but you can use free tools like Zista. I even have one of my own free tools uh, at wordsscale.com, which extracts entities. For the URLs, I'm basically copying my sitemap. So these are my actual articles. Now, once again, at this stage, you can choose whichever model you want. Uh, the list is very detailed. Going back to the brand voice. One of the issues that uh, you guys are facing is the length of the output. And I've done some additional testing and there is a correlation between the uh, reading level 
level and the output. So first grade level, we'll use simpler words. So the vocabulary is going to be much more limited. And the articles tend to be shorter. So you would get the shortest articles here when it says first grade reading level. But I usually go flash Kate six to eight grade reading level. So let's use this, for example. And I'll stick with Opus again. Uh, let me test a few different models right in front of you. So let's start with Opus. And I really like the kind of output Opus is producing. The custom tailored emojis strategically inserted into the text. The overall length. Uh, we can already see some internal links here and there. And you just can tell that the content is going to be well optimized. Look at that. Okay. We go mark down to HTML. Let's paste this into your writer, and this is 64 SEO optimization score, almost 800 words. A very well researched article. What we can also do is go to this section here, which is custom data, go to a tool called Napkin AI, and we can create a chart, a beautiful chart for free. We can do stuff like this, stuff like this, stuff like this, stuff like this. Amazing, amazing. So you copy it as a PNG and insert it in your final article. So let's try another model. So another model that gives pretty good results is Cloud 2.1, but sometimes, sometimes uh, topics around uh, AI detection do not pass the internal filter of Cloud 2.1 moderation. Yeah, like in this instance here, I apologize for reflections, I don't feel comfortable. Let's try 2.0, and 2.0 is okay with this topic, thankfully. We are already seen some internal links, some data. And this should be complemented with infographics that we get from Napkin AI. Okay, beautiful. I like this style of conclusions. Let's test this. Let's go to Markdown. And this is a longer output in excess of 1,000 words, almost 1,100 words. And a very high SEO optimization score. Okay, let's try two more models. Let's uh, choose Cloud 3.5 Sonnet Legacy Model. This one here. And you do get the best results quality wise with this model here because it answers the question right in the introduction. Like GT Writer has proven to be highly effective in passing a detection, particularly with GPT 4 and readability settings. It's a perfect introduction. Lots of data, links. Okay. Again, this will be a longer article by the looks of it. 900 words, 67 SEO score. And again, Oh, Google is uh, favoring shorter articles, not Google, but <laughs> yeah, in the time of our attention economy, people are valuing shorter content more, and this is one of the best signals, user engagement, I mean, for Google. So in essence, it's okay to have shorter articles if they address the search intent. Finally, let's uh, choose a model that uh, sometimes is a hit or miss. I like it a lot, but sometimes it produces very short outputs, and that varies. I don't know why it does that, but the model itself is pretty good. Again, it's answering the question in the introduction. Yes, agility writer can pass a detection, especially with the right settings. This is a perfect introduction. Links, lots of relevant links, actually. And again, judging by the by what I'm saying, this is one of the best articles out of these, but it is on a shorter site. But once again, it addresses the search intent. So let's see how long this is. Now oh, it's almost 1000 words, 78. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's why I like this model so much. Maybe I should have this uh, as a fourth suggestion. So Cloud 3.5, Cloud 2.1, Cloud Opus, and Gemini 1.5. So one of the last questions uh, is about my other video. So I recorded a video basically about how to create tools like this. And people have been asking me where to get the prompts, the templates I'm showing in the video. So I'm talking about these visuals and this prompt here. So all you need to do is click on this button here, which will lead you to my Writer Watch newsletter. And together, in addition to the, these amazing goodies like Outline Genius GPD, for example, and Copywriting Tips, you will get link to this diagram and this prompt. Since there is no user interface, no dashboard, uh, client space, or whatever, this writer does not store your information. It does not store your API keys. And uh, fortunately or unfortunately, it doesn't save your settings. So if you are choosing different LLMs for different components and you have your own favorite brand voice prompts, you will have to re-enter them. And uh, before I forget, the AI writer will write in whatever style is here or here. 
And so people told me that custom doesn't work. Let me give you a very simple example. Let me uh, create an extremely simple prompt, which will say use simple English to 100% match Flash King Kate first grade reading level and use uh, lots of emojis. So let's just try that. And we'll use the same Gemini Pro 1.5 model. Okay, now can you see <laughs> the difference? So the emojis are everywhere. Okay, this looks fun. Yeah, it's slightly shorter, but sometimes it's way shorter. And as you can see, this is still in the 70s range of SEO optimization. So I think I've pretty much addressed all the questions you may have about uh, this helpful content writer. I realized that there are tons of features that are not present, but again, this was based on my specific writing style and was a leap of faith for me to assume that you would like this uh, process as well. <laughs> Go check out Helpful Content Writer. It's 100% free. You need to buy your own keys. It's only going to cost you five bucks and it's going to last you for a while. Let me know if you have any further questions. Until next time, cheers.